So in this video, we're going to go over some of the elements of interactive JavaScript. In the previous lesson, we used the Chrome inspector and the console so that you could get a sense of some of the activities within programming. You learned about variables, you learned about um, if statements and loops and functions. We had a variety of different things that I wanted to demonstrate to you in a way that was easy for you to pick up the concepts quickly in the console. But when we actually want to use these tools, we have to use them in a script somehow. We have to put them in our documents. We want to be creating JavaScript for the web, which means that they have to sit inside an HTML page. We want to create some interactions. We want to be able to store things in variables, create a arrays, um, use if statements and loops to be able to make decisions about um, the inputs that we're getting. And so we're going to do some things with prompts first, and then we'll apply forms. Uh, to be able to allow people to input things. We'll have a couple different ways to look at that. So just to get started, when you use JavaScript, you have to indicate that the script exists. And one way you can do that is by putting the script in a separate JavaScript file, and you can link to that file in the head of your document. And that's a good idea if you're going to create scripts that are going to be used on multiple different pages. For these exercises, we're going to actually include the script within the HTML document so that it's easy for you to work within the HTML and the scripts and you'll be able to go back and forth and adjust them because these scripts are only applicable to the things that we're doing on the one page. And I should also point out that we're creating scripts that are sort of standalone on an HTML page. Ultimately, these will be sitting in a well-designed page, maybe something that you do in Bootstrap, maybe something that you code yourself that's going to be part of um, a complete user interface. But for now, we're just demonstrating the functionality that you would create with the JavaScript on the pages that you're creating. And the main element that we're going to use, and that I think you'll find it very useful, is this one called get element by ID. And what it does is manipulate what's on the page in the ID that is designated in the get element by ID. You'll see examples of this in a second. We'll be able to change the inner HTML, which means whatever's in there, whether it's a word or nothing, we will be able to use scripting to be able to change it to something else. This is called manipulating the DOM or the document object model. The document object model is the structure of a web page. And uh, this, this function is very, very powerful. As you get some practice with it, I think it'll start making more sense to you. There are other methods like get element by ID, but we're gonna focus on get element by ID right now because that, as you know, an ID applies to one element on a page. And so we'll have control of changing and capturing things from one element at a time to make it a little bit more easy for you. And we'll be using get element by ID in conjunction with IDs associated with paragraphs, divs, and possibly spans. So the way this tutorial works is that I've got some description of what we're about to do for each example, and then the complete code that you need. So all you need to do is copy everything that's over here in the code sample, and then paste it into an HTML document.